Cal Miska did not play yesterday. He's getting hit. He's appearing in his first professional game as Miska will center Murray and Dion to start it out. He's set to take the opening draw. He'll do so against the Ice Bears, Anthony McVeigh, a rookie out of Utica College. Dane Stout, the referee, set to drop the puck. Puck down once more. Miska set to take it against McVeigh. Number 44 in the white jerseys, Cal Miska. He showed a lot of energy in the preseason -game, pre game one week ago today against the Fayetteville. Miska's ready to take it. He wins it to the right wing for Max Guillaume. Guillaume, now Walters, and Nate O'Brien. O'Brien dumps the puck in. Getting in deep to take it is Cal Miska. Miska with a backhanded pass into the... Cal Miska set to take the draw. Didn't play hockey last season. He had three seasons at the University of Wisconsin Superior his senior year, 2016-17. He's a rookie now here with the Rail Yard Dogs in his second pro game. Again, and this time Miska wins it clean. Again, and this time Miska wins it clean. Oak wins the draw by way of Cal Miska. Cal Miska getting some late shifts. Dan Bremner must like what he sees out of the rookie in his first pro game. But meanwhile, the other way, Dogs executing a line change. Miska on a flyby gives it back to Roland. 109, second period, three on two develops for the Dogs is now Murray burning in. Murray goes to the net, tries a wraparound, sends it right in front, it's loose in the crease. Miska got one towards the net, but the save was made by Kelly. And after the whistle now, Murray and Economos both. Kolesnikov's trying to work the man free to the opposite wing, the rail yard Dogs force him into the boards. That was Miska to check on Price. Picked up by Miska after the puck squirted between the legs of a couple of skaters. This is Kolesnikov's along the left wing side, trying to break it for Fox. Fox couldn't corral, but he has it back, and here come the dogs onside. It's Economos for Miska, a shot, the stick save made. To the line, to the right wing side. Now it's, a, it's an offside call, and after the whistle, Witzel with a hip check on Bricado. He's gonna be for another one minute and 11 seconds. Here's the penalty announcement. We were right, both get two minutes for roughing. Caesar and Witzel, both two minutes for roughing. Coincidental minors, they'll cancel each other out. We're still skating five on four. Rail yard dogs in the left wing corner will try to get it away from their net for their netminder, Brad Barone. Six to three, the shots on goal favor the Ice Bears. The score is one to one. Big check there by Federo to clean things up. Now looking for a crossing pass of the Ice Bears. They'll get it to the point to Tolls. Tolls shoots it wide of the net, bouncing off the, for the rebound. Bombardier he played it off the lively boards, and he fired a shot on net. The save is made by Barone. Rail yard dogs into the left wing corner. This is Federo. Federo clears it towards the blue line, kept in there by the Ice Bears, but first to it is Cal Miska. He'll smack it out of the defensive zone. Yard dogs in the D zone. Bauer eventually to Miska by way of Guillaume. Cal Miska can really skate. Down the left wing, Tolls has it for the Ice Bears as he regroups things on the man advantage. Bombardier over the line. Bombardier hit hard into the boards by Miska. He'll skate hard, he'll do that all the time. As the puck goes back towards the blue line now, Miska sprinting towards it as Tolls works it along. Penalties announced. Face off is won by the rail yard dogs. They can't quite get it out. It was a miraculous keep in there by David Branchick just smacking it down with his stick, and he's got possession of the puck as the Ice Bears set up the power play, but wait, a delayed penalty has been called now, penalty against the Ice Bears. Take it free, puck's loose right in the front of the net, a shot. Well, he's definitely got the physical part of the game down. The rail yard dogs, they'll go through center now. Touching it along was Cal Miska. Miska's wearing number 16 and these alternate red sweaters for the rail yard dogs. Behind the net now, Carl Greco. He'll start the breakout the other way for the marksman. Greco to the left wing side, dumped in. One of the linesmen right in front. That was made happen by getting the puck deep and it was behind the net. The pass that came from Cal Miska. Miska picked it up behind the net in the trapezoid area and backhanded one in front. Dion and Nielsen both had chances. They just couldn't finish it. Rail yard dog Remner are up here in the press box getting a bird's eye view as a whistle blows out of the dog's defensive zone. That check was issued by Cal Miska who is skating very hard this evening. Picked up maturely, so they'll do it again, and this time Miska wins it clean. Dion and Nielsen both had chances, they just couldn't finish. Miska wins it clean. Dogs look a lot like the Montreal Canadiens tonight. They've got the blue helmets, blue gloves, and blue shells to go along with those red jerseys. No name bars on the jerseys so far to this evening, and you gotta earn those, in fact. Back to the point, Roland fakes a one-timer to six. That favors Fayetteville as the marksman heading to the power play here. Rail yard dogs shorthanded for the second time this period. They win the defensive zone draw. Bryce Nielsen did it, but the dogs can't clear it out now, and the marksman 
can set up their attack. Along the left wing, Fayetteville chips to the left wing side along those half walls. The puck in the left wing corner, now it is gathered there. Back to the blue line, that's Sam Kent. Kent gave it on there for Derek. Faceoff is one, but the dogs will try and get out of their defensive zone. Colin Murray has possession of the puck. Murray on the left wing. He'll keep it on his forehand for now. Now sprint up through center. Murray passes it towards Economos, and now it's dumped on in. Behind the net, the rail yard dogs with Cal Miska. Miska's a grinder. Looks like go and get the puck. He does it out of the corner. Miska to take it for the rail yard dogs. It's won by the dogs. Towards the blue line, Taylor Love could have take it. Miska wins it this time. But fighting for possession over to get it is Sheeran. Sheeran got it free. Now he tiptoes around the defense. Looked like he might have been tripped, but the dogs got away with it. Now Ben Bauer in the defensive zone. Plays it off the right wing boards. Over to take it now on the defensive side for the marksman. They'll flip one up ahead with Bryce Martin. Or the three-minute mark of the second period still stands as the only goal in this game. Roanoke wins the D-zone draw. Back to the point for a shot that's ripped wide. You got caught again, and this time Miska wins it clean. Dogs back to the period, scores one to one between Roanoke and Fayetteville. Shots are 28 to 22, favoring the rail yard dogs. A long clear in, sprinting after it now Witzel. Witzel gets it free for Miska to the point now Harrison. Harrison backskating at the blue line. Harrison a slap shot, big wind. Hassled by Walters of the rail yard dogs and they get it free from Miska. Miska's pass to the left wing side. Here comes Eric Witzel. Witzel steered wide right now. Yeah, they'll figure it out. It's number five for Roanoke, but we'll just tell you about it. Dogs on the penalty kill. There's only a two-second differential between the game clock and the penalty kill clock. Roanoke leads it by a score of three to one. Along the left wing side, it's Tim Keelich. Keelich towards the point, intercepted and cleared away by Cal Miska.